Hi friends, welcome. Thanks for stopping in. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. So last night I was looking online and I was looking at different glitter and I found this recipe for glitter. So I've seen so many recipes for glitter that have to do with cutting cellophane and different things. This is the first one I saw like this and it looked interesting. I thought that we would try it and we would see if it works, okay? So on my way home from work, I stopped and I picked up some sea salt. So this is just sea salt from um, Sam's. It's the Members Mark brand and it was $3 and some change. And this is a two and a quarter pound container, okay? So I also have some little baggies. I just thought that might help keep me from making a mess as I'm putting color in. Some little spoons from Dollar Tree that I like to use. And then I have some mica powder. This came from Amazon. Now, this is a really simple recipe and I hope that it works. I have a pan lined with some parchment paper and I have my oven set to 350 degrees. So I'm gonna take out a couple bags and this recipe says that you use sea salt. You can use different um, coarse levels depending on what you want it to look like. You add some colorant to it and then you bake it at 350 for 10 to 15 minutes. So, and then the pitcher was this beautiful glitter. So we all know how that can go. So we'll see if that pitcher was true or not. So this is some pretty fine sea salt. It was the only sea salt that they had at Sam's and I needed laundry soap, so. All right, so we're gonna put some in here. Hmm, all right. So we've got this much glitter for that one. And then I'm gonna do the same in these other two bags real quick. And I figure we'll make three colors and see how it turns out. All right. So now they did say to use food coloring, but I'm gonna try the mica powder and see how it looks. And the reason for that is just because I have so many more colors to work with with the mica powder. So I'm gonna do a purple. Ooh, I'm gonna do this violet. And I'm gonna do black pearl. And then let's do something a little bit on like the more medium. Scale. How about this black sea? That looks pretty. All right, so I'm gonna open my little spoons and I don't wanna waste my mica, but I wanna, you know, definitely use enough. So I'm gonna start with this Dead Sea. Well, that's a pretty color for sure. Let's see how that works. Oh yeah, that was plenty of color and that worked really well. Okay, so here is our first glitter color. Let's we'll see how that looks. All right, now we'll do our purple. So I was thinking that this would also be nice to color 
the um, that white sand from Dollar Tree. So that's pretty good. I think I want it a little bit. It looks good. I want it a little bit darker, so I'm going to put just a little bit more in it. Let's see how that goes. All right, that's better. All right, so here's our second color. And then our third color is gonna be this black pearl. This is a really pretty color too. And this brand is, just says mica powder. I don't even see a brand on it. I got it from um, Amazon quite some time ago. I got that one because I wasn't sure if my other mica powder was okay for soap making. And that is so. All right, so this is like this nice gray color. All right. All right, so now we are going to put it on our pan. Hey, Google, set an alarm for 15 minutes, please. Done. Your alarm set for 6.08 p.m. All right. Oh, that does look pretty. Huh. All right. And then we'll put this. So baking it is supposed to like help push the color in. This already looks pretty. I'll show you after I get it all on the pan. So this way we can see the difference after we've um, baked it. Okay, oh, that looks pretty too. So you can see this is what it looks like right now. And now I'm gonna stick it in the oven and then I will come back to you guys in 15 minutes. All right, so it's been 15 minutes and I took our stuff out of the oven. I got a pair of scissors just so that I could like cut these because I have it all on one paper and I want to be able to put it into these containers. I got this container at, it's a Greenbrier product, so it it's new, but it's probably something they're going to be carrying. I got this at the Dollar Tree. And it's just this little, it was in the baby section. It's that Angel of Mine brand and it's just this little stackable set. This is small, but that's the smallest amount. So I'm going to put this in here and we'll check it out. So I want to figure out what baking it did for it. Oh, well, I do think it made it a little bit more shiny. All right, so that looks pretty good. So there is that. Not bad. Now the mica powder, it does have a little bit of a leftover powder kind of tinge to it. I don't know if that would be the same with um, using regular food coloring. this one mm, 
looks pretty good. It's not, this one's not super shiny, but it does look good. There's that one. That looks that looks really pretty. That looks really really pretty. So there's that. Let me come around and I will make sure that you can see it all really well. All right. So here is that gray color. And it honestly didn't turn out too bad at all. Like it's pretty decent looking. And here's our purple, not too bad. and our green not too bad either these all right so this turned out pretty good if you're in a pinch not a horrible way to make a little bit of glitter and if you you know want just a fun project to do not bad so Listen, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that it was helpful. If you guys have anything that you would like me to make a video on, please let me know. I've been asked to do a video on my glitter collection. What do you guys think? I've been asked to do a video showing all of my different epoxy molds that I have. So tell me what you think about that. And I've also been asked to show my sticker collection. So let me know if there are things you want to see or if there's anything that you guys would like me to try and make. Please let me know because I'll be happy to give it a try. Listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day, friends. I'll see you later. Bye.